We pick up our Bible study today in Hebrews chapter 11, and we'll look at verses 11 and 12. Abraham and his wife Sarah were led away from their homeland by God to a new land in which God told Abraham that he would give him. God also told Abraham that he would make him the father of a people as numerous as the sand and that could be counted as the stars in the sky if the stars could be counted. As noted in Genesis chapter 15 verse 5 and chapter 22 verse 17 as well as here in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 12. Isaac, the son born to Abraham and Sarah, through which God would fulfill the promise of making Abraham the father of many nations, and through which many nations would be blessed through Abraham, as we're told in Genesis chapter 17, verse 19, would be born when Sarah was past the age of childbearing, and Abraham himself would be a hundred years old, as stated in Genesis chapter 17, verses 15 through 17. This is an example of what is impossible for man is possible for God and through one's faith in God. The example has been set in the Old Testament that what is impossible for man is possible with God. It was impossible physically for Abraham and Sarah to bear children since they were far past the age of childbearing. But in fulfilling the promise made to Abraham by God, the example shows the importance of God using the weakness of man to show his great strength and of how one can only accomplish the promises that God gives us by believing in him and his ability to accomplish the task through us. Without God, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, as I quote from the New King James Version, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. This still holds true for us today. Whatever God is prompting you in your heart to do may seem impossible for you to accomplish. It is. But God is prompting you to trust in Him to help you accomplish what He has called you to do. It is only through your faith in Him that you will be successful in accomplishing the task. If you are experiencing this type of heartache, it is in your heart aching to be cleansed by the blood of Christ Jesus in opening to the cleansing that only he can give. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind. Let him transform your trust into a love that fulfills your heart, mind, and soul, and to a love for one another and accomplishes all things through him who is faithful. As we learn from Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 40. The Apostle John teaches us in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear Lord, many times you give us tasks that seem impossible to accomplish. Please help us to see that through this you are teaching us to trust in you as we cannot accomplish the task without seeking your guidance through the entire event, which in truth is throughout our entire lives. But please help us to see that in fulfilling the task through your through our faith in you, the blessings and reward are surpassed by nothing on this earth. There is no greater feeling in our hearts than to experience the relationship of salvation in Christ Jesus and seek your will in our lives and all we do that it would be to bring you glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.